Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. M. Amprin Lingda, along with officials from the Health Department, provided an update on the suspected polio case in Tigrikila. NHM Mission Director Aram Kumar S. informed that the case is being reviewed by a national level expert committee. The state immunization officer Dr. Badrila Maulong shared that samples collected from the village where the suspected case was reported tested negative for polio. However, concerns were raised over low immunization rates in certain communities within the state, prompting the department to take further action. Uh, I'm Dr. Badrila Maulong, state immunization officer. Like uh, uh, recently, we have uh, again tested the two samples uh, of that affected um, child, and also we have taken the samples from the close contact and uh, some uh, from some villages of that community also, and all the test samples were sent to uh, Institute of Serology uh, Calcutta, and all they were found to be negative of polio. And now the so so that means that there is no community uh, instances of any polio case in that particular village. However, it is very very important that the village to understand that the village had a little uh, uh, you know lower full immunization coverage. We need to ensure that this full immunization continues across all the communities. Only as a community, so if you have 15 people are here, at least 13 people have to take uh, vaccines to achieve something called herd immunity. That immunity uh, seems to be was a uh, might have been an issue there, and uh, so that's why we just today also we had a state level task force on immunization, uh, explaining to all the from at the level of principal secretary to all the districts, DCs, all of them had joined to tell this about immunization of every single village. Few villages are having issues in terms of immunization, very highly in uh, East Kasi Hills, West Kasi Hills, a lot much more here. But we think every village and every community is important because of this achieving this herd immunity as a very important. Uh, uh, criteria so that these cases don't happen. Which uh, which uh, district has a less number of immunization? No, as a state, we as have already state. close. We are already close as eighty close to ninety percent immunization. We already achieved it. But as I said, we have to go certain to certain communities. Certain communities, certain few blocks community. where there are seventy percent, seventy five percent, seventy eight percent. We have that those blocks are there. But the as a state, we have reached almost ninety percent. But there are still the ninety to ninety five. Even every child. This um, has a bit deserving for a good life, and these vaccines, uh, you know, are, are a very, very important thing to have that kind of immunity towards various uh, this kind of preventable diseases. So, how many confirmed polio cases? None. No, 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 no. Only there's no case. Please do not. <laughs> That's why that so I wanted to clarify that. Been, yeah. Actually, so, India is polio free, free since 2011. 2011. 11, 11. Well, the last case was 11. 2011. 11. And uh, it yeah. was declared by uh, WHO polio free in 2014. So this Tigrikala case is is a polio case? Suspected. No, no suspected. suspected. So what treatment he is getting? The patient no, is no, fine. The yeah, the treatment he was uh, patient getting patient is found to be that. okay. Still. Polio free. Correct? Yes. Not not polio free man. He suspected polio case. He is no, there is no another symptoms of any other symptoms right now. Child is back at home only. He is leading the normal life and is back at home. Yeah, because vaccine derived uh, are extremely rare and uh, detected only in two, those children with low immunity and sometimes with uh, those uh, uh, low coverage uh, immunization of that locality and sometimes even with the population with low level of immunization. And there is a national level expert committee uh, which takes all the matters into place and then they decide the further course of action. That has still not been done. I think the com they, they have still had to sit in the committee at national level and they'll take you know this thing because these things go beyond uh, national boundaries also. Since we are also very close to you know other countries, so it goes beyond national boundaries. So there is a national level committee which will take cognizance. So, two types of vaccine derived that very rare, but while polio virus that we uh, there was before that um, uh, wild polio virus, but it was eradicated except only in Pakistan and Afghanistan that there were cases in the year 2023 in the month of October and November 2023. So uh, like for us also here in India, we are very concerned like in in this AFP surveillance because we are near with Bangladesh, we are about like because those uh, people from 
from Pakistan or Afghanistan no. or from Bangladesh, they may come to India, we may get contacted again with wild polio virus also. So AFP surveillance, we have to strengthen it.